Hey, our study of the Bible, number 10 lesson. Today, dun, 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 the originals. Whoa. Golfers clap. The originals. The original manuscript. That which was written by men as Moses, David, James, Peter, Matthew, Paul. Churches and seminaries, statement of faith. We believe the Bible to be the word of God as far as the translated correctly. We believe the Bible to be the word of God, but the Old Testament, New Testament, and the original writing. There is no belief in the Bible, for there are no originals in man's hands today. The originals are gone. And to say, oh, in the original, you've never seen the original, you can't get the original, and there's no originals available. You might as well say, I've got the original writings of Moses, signed by Moses himself. Because it's nonsense. The originals did, do not exist for thousands of years. And if you don't have the originals, you have no mode of teaching or belief in the originals. So, when you've got a a instructor, a pastor, a teacher, somebody instructing the word of God and their main brain is the originals, walk out and leave and find another church, another school, another person to listen to because they don't have it. They can't get it. And then if we don't have the originals, what is the assurance of nothing we have? The belief in and on God is sure than the originals taken God by faith. I believe of all faith the King James 1611 Bible from Genesis to Revelation 66 books. I take this as fact as this King James Bible, the King James Bible, is beyond the shadow of doubt the English word of God that God wants to have. If I had the originals of Moses, I can't read them. I don't know Hebrew. If I had the, the originals of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John, I can't read it. I only know English. And we've already talked about it. We'll talk about it again in the Greek. Sorry, buddy. Press one for English. And you, in the Greek. All right, let's hear you talk Greek your entire life. Pick up the phone and start saying hello in Greek and carry a whole conversation with Greek. Try it in Hebrew. Paul says the language in, in heaven is Hebrew. You're a phony. You just want the congregation to look at you and you want your students to look at you. You know something. The words of Moses, David, Paul, James, Peter, Matthew, etc. Are not the words of Moses, David, Paul, James, Peter, and Matthew. They are the very words of God. Even the Apostle John says at the end of the Gospel of John, Man, this ain't everything about Jesus' life. What are you going to do with originals with the Gospel of John when John said there was much more to happen? We just didn't write it. And when you go over to 1 John, he said, listen, we are eyewitnesses. We lived and held and, and dwelt with and talked to and saw the Word of God. The verses we, we just read. God will keep or preserve them. That's last, that's last week's study, number nine. God will keep or preserve them. 
They will never pass away. Man will not add or subtract to God's word. Man and adds and subtracts to their perverted Bibles. But man is not going to add and subtract to the very word of God. The word of God is pure. The word of God is inspired. God breathed. The word of God is perfect. You know the originals of Moses? Moses cracked them at the bottom of the mount. If you wanted the originals of the Ten Commandments, get yourself some super glow. Go over to the mount uh, uh, over there in Sinai and start pacing yourself together. Because that's the originals that Moses cracked. When God has a man write an entire Bible book, that they that that man may forget everything he wrote later on. But God would never forget what he had man to write. You think when Joshua passed on years and coming to the end of his death, do you think he remembered everything that was in the book of Joshua? No. Man forgets. God doesn't forget. Listen, as I'm getting older, I'm forgetting names. I'm forgetting places. I'm forgetting events. God doesn't. There's only one thing that God will forget. Any sins that are under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that we confess. 1 John 1, 9. God's the author. First five books of Moses. Yeah, okay. But God's the author of the first five books of Moses. God's the author of the 66 books of, of, of the Bible. Well, man wrote the Bible. Yeah, man wrote the Bible. Man is the pen. And the ink is the Holy Spirit. You trying to tell me that Paul uh, at some time? You, you, you tell me sometime that, that Paul in his lifetime he's sitting right. I don't like that. Give me another piece of paper. You tell me Paul never crumpled up the originals and threw them in the way. Is that didn't come out right? You tell me that, that Peter never crumpled up. I'm going to show you some things in the originals that you want to think what had happened to the originals. Exodus 31, 18. Again, here we go. And he gave unto Moses, when he had made an end of communing with him on Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony. Tables of stone. We call that a tablet today. You can go in the store and buy a tablet. Oops. Written with the finger of God. Here in stone is God's finger. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. They were the very written words of the finger of God in stone. How would you like to carry those tablets to church? We're going to study in the next month. We're going to study the Ten Commandments. Everyone bring your stone tablets. <laughs> Exodus 32, 15 to 16. And Moses turned and went down from the mount. The two tables of the testimony were in his hand. The tables were written on both their sides. You know, the pictures show you only one side. The pictures are wrong. God says that the tables of the Ten Commandments was written on both sides. On the one side and on the other, they were written by the finger of God. The tablets were the work of God. God made those tablets. And the writing was the writing of God graven upon tables. Now, I don't know how God did that. But here's two tables of stone. And God wrote upon those tables. Exodus 32, 19. And it came to pass as soon as he came nigh to the camp that they saw the calf. The calf. Eat more chicken. And dancing. And Moses' anger waxed hot. Man, he, Moses had a temper problem. Moses got angry. And he cast the tables out of his hands 
and break them beneath the mount. The original Ten Commandments were destroyed. <gasps> Moses. And in the eyes of scholarship and, and the educators and the preachers, the, Moses should have went to hell forever and a, a, a private study in hell forever for breaking the originals. The only Moses and maybe Joshua saw the originals. How's that? The original Ten Commandments. At least Moses saw them, maybe Joshua, and Moses broke them. Wow, Moses, you didn't handle the, the word of God properly. But that's not the only copy God had. 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 Exodus 34, 1. And the Lord said unto Moses, Hew thee two tables of stone like unto the first. And I will write upon thee the tables the words that were in the first tablets which thou broke it. God's going to make a copy. You see this King James Bible of mine? You know what that is? That's a copy. This is not the original. You can't open the Bible and find, let's see, let's see, open up somewhere. All right, Kings. You can't open up and say, now, King David, and find the DNA of King David. You're not going to find it. Now, you're going to find my DNA. You're going to find coffee DNA. You're going to find soda DNA. You're going to find the tears DNA. You're going to find sweat DNA. But you're not going to find David's DNA. And yet this copy of the Bible, the King James Bible, is in heaven right now. You say, you believe that? Did I just say it? Then I believe it. Exodus 35, 1. And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord has commanded that ye should do them. The copies, not the original. You know they never picked up the originals? The last thing written about the originals of the Ten Commandments, they were broken beneath the mount, and no one picked them up, no one grabbed them, no one did anything with them. And when it came to the copy that Moses brought, Moses brought the, the second stones up to the mount. And God wrote on those that Moses, not God, the first set said God got, did it all. And then the second set, God says, heal thee out two stones like the first, and I'll write on them. And he says, the Lord has commanded ye should do them, not the originals. They were broken beneath the mount. The copied originals were just as sure as the originals. The copies were carried all the way to the promised land given to Joshua. Hallelujah. And then scribes and priests copy those. And then scribes and priests copy those. And scribes and priests copy those. And we scribe and priests copy those. And I hold in my hand my King James Bible with scribes and priests and printing press. And the authority men of King James has given me, not the originals, the copies. And this is the sure word of God that is living and is breathing that Christians get mad at me for preaching out of. That the world says, shut that preacher up in the Bible. The book's alive. The originals of Moses did not go into the promised land. The copies of the originals went to the promised land. Hallelujah. You find a man saying the originals, the originals, get out of his church. I can't find another church. Well, start a church. Jeremiah 36, 2. Oh, no, he's doing 36. I have enough problems with Jeremiah 10 in, in the Christmas tree. Come on, Sally, it's after Christmas. Stop it. Jeremiah 36, 2. Boy, Jeremiah is a difficult book for, uh, book for, for scholars. Take thee a roll of a book, 
pages. And write therein all the words that I have spoken unto thee. Jeremiah, yes, I'm going to speak to you. Yes, Lord. Write down what I tell you. Inspiration. 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 Write the word of God. Inspiration. Inspiration. Write the word of God. That's inspiration. All right, Jeremiah, start writing. And everything Jeremiah wrote was by the inspiration of God, what God told him to do, what the Holy Spirit said, hey, write that. There's a place in the book of Revelation that John's uh, and, and inspiration of God. Don't write that. Okay. Against Israel, against Judah, against all nations. From the day I spoke unto thee, from the days of Joab, or Josiah, even on this day, Jeremiah 36, 20. And they went into the king, into the court, but they laid up the roll of the chamber and Elishama described and told all the words in the ears of the king. King, this is what Jeremiah said that God said, that Jeremiah wrote that God said to write. And it came to pass that when Jehudai had read three or four leaves or pages, he cut it with a pen knife and cast it cast into the fire that was on the hearth until all the roll was consumed in the fire that was on the hearth. Oh, the originals have burned. Oh, Oh, no, the originals of Jeremiah have been burned. We can't bring the originals into the classroom. Je uh, congregation, Jeremiah, uh, oh, we can't. They've been burned. Try that one. The originals of Jeremiah. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The originals have been burnt entirely the bible tells us on fire jeremiah 36 27 then the word of the lord came to jeremiah after the king had burned the roll and the words which Beirut wrote in the mouth of jeremiah saying oh look at that jeremiah yes lord you're going to write everything i tell you to write yes lord all right start writing Beirut, let's start writing this down God spoke to Jeremiah, and Jeremiah spoke to Baruch. And Baruch wrote what Jeremiah said that God said through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Looky, looky, looky. The roll was destroyed. The roll, the originals were destroyed. Jeremiah 36, 27. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, Jeremiah. After the king had burned the roll, and the words which Beirut wrote in the mouth of Jeremiah, saying, He is here is God speaking to Jeremiah, and Jeremiah is using another man, and Baruch is to pen what God said to Jeremiah. Whoa. Men wrote the Bible, absolutely, and the men wrote of the man of the wrote of God, God said to write. Man is the pen, and God the Holy Spirit is the ink. Jeremiah 36, 28. Take thee again another roll. Does that sound familiar? From Exodus? And write in it all the former words that were on the first roll. Copy the originals, though we don't have a copy of the originals. It's been burnt. Rewrite the originals. <laughs> Class, we have the originals of Jeremiah, and he dust and ashes over the floor. Sally, what do you say, Jeremiah? 36. Open up my Bible, Jer Jeremiah 36, and I have a copy of not the originals. I don't have the I don't have the originals. I have a copy of the originals that the originals were burnt. And God said, Jeremiah, rewrite them. Oh. 
God authorized Jeremiah to rewrite what was on the originals that were burnt. God told Moses, as far as the Ten Commandments, you bring me up two more stones and I'm going to rewrite what was on the original. That's Bible. Jeremiah 36, 28. Take thee again another roll and write it, write in it all the former words that were in the first roll, which Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, had burned. God saw it. God said, hey, burnt it, right? Yeah, he burnt the, the original. Yeah. Get yourself some more paper. Get yourself some more rolls. What am I going to do, Jeremiah? I mean, what am I going to do, Lord, Jeremiah says. We're going to rewrite it. But Jehovah, the, the, the scholars are going to be upset. I don't care. I don't care what the scholars say. Get yourself some more paper. Get yourself another roll. And we're going to rewrite what you wrote, Jeremiah, that was burnt under fire. Uh, God? Yes, Jeremiah? I forgot what I wrote. Never mind. You just take that pen. You and Beirut take that pen. I'll tell you what I wrote. Say? Men may forget. I don't think Jeremiah... Rem you, you imagine Jeremiah rem memorizing all that? No. God knew what he wrote. God is the authority. God is the one we're to put the faith in. And God said, okay, I'm going to speak to you, Jeremiah, and you speak to Beirut, and Beirut, you start writing the copy of the originals, which are ashes. And when Moses broke the original Ten Commandments, no one picked it up. No one carried it. God told Moses, come on back up this mountain. You bring two more uh, uh, tablets of stone, and I'll rewrite it again. Jeremiah, you tell Beirut to rewrite it again. Scholar, well, you know, we don't have the originals. It's copied. Go 911, going to have a heart attack. Let's shut up and get out of your profession. And you got anybody who says in the originals, you need to get out of their church and find another church or start a church. Because we see with Moses, the lawgiver, and the Jews worship Moses. Moses. And we see a man named Jeremiah, which the Jews didn't care for. And God says, as far as originals, that's okay. We're going to rewrite them. I don't remember. I do. Start writing. Inspiration. So, Jeremiah 36, 28, take the, again, another roll, like Moses, take some more stones, and write it in the former words that were the first roll, which Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, had burned. Get another copy. The originals are ashes. In Jeremiah 36, 32, then Jeremiah took another roll. And gave it to Baruch the scribe, the son of Neriah, Neriah, who wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah. Talk about double inspiration. There's my root right in what Jeremiah says, what God says. What are you going to do with that one? Well, you know, Jeremiah chapter 10 is not about the Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, Jeremiah 36 is even better than the Christmas tree. You got two inspirations of the writing of the book of Jeremiah that was burned, the original. And God said to Jeremiah, da, 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 da. Jeremiah said to Baruch, da, 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 da. <laughs> you know, the epistles of Paul and Romans, it says that another man wrote, some of the epistles of Paul, Paul didn't write, other men wrote. And in those epistles, I, I forget the names, are, but you know, they, I just want to say hi, and I want to greet these people here. I wrote this. <laughs> so if you're a Paul-only-ism, no, you're not, because other men wrote the epistles of Paul. Under the inspiration of Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and under the inspiration of Jesus Christ. Come on, you really think the Apostle John 
I, I don't. I, I, let's say a round number. Let's say one million. And there's a lot more than one million. But you really tell me that the Apostle John wrote the book of Revelation one million times? Do you really think that the Apostle John wrote what it's in my Bible? No, 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 no. It's a copy. As we see with Moses, as we see with Jeremiah, God authorizes, King James authorized version, copies. You're not going to get the originals. Unless you go over to Mount Sinai, and I don't even know where those originals are. Unless you go to King Jehoiakim, is it Jehoiakim? Where is his name? Jehoiakim. You go to King jo Jehoiakim's hearth, and you go in the hearth, the angels sing, and find the rich. You're not going to do it. I'm surprised they haven't come up with gimmicks and gag. We got the original ashes. <laughs> yeah. Keep reading. Jeremiah 36, 32. Hey, I, I got to be this cruel. I got to be this rude. Because there's people out there who are stupid. And there are people out there who want people stupid. So you will fall for their stupidity. And it's called foolishness. Jeremiah 36, 32. And then took Jeremiah another role. Not the original. And gave it to Baruch the scribe, the son of Neriah, who wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the book which Jehoiakim, king of Judah, had burnt with fire, God's memory. Or maybe God did give him the memory. I don't know. God, is anything too possible for God? Is anything too hard from God? I know there are things in my life that have been so hard, God did it. I can preach every Saturday morning and I can still memorize scripture and I can't even remember the guy's face in church. I can't remember, though I know that cashier at the store, I can't remember her name. And yet I can stand on the street Saturday morning and quote scripture. That's the Holy Spirit, my friend. That ain't Stiley Hayward's. Stiley Hayward would get up in the morning. What, what room am I in? Stiley Haver would get an idea. All right, I'm going to get up and go in the kitchen. And I get in the kitchen. What do they come in here for? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I don't even know why I went in the kitchen. It's not me that memorizes scripture. It's the Holy Spirit using me when I want to memorize scripture. Maybe that's what happened here. Maybe God spoke to Jeremiah and spoke to Beirut, or maybe God gave me, hey, you can remember it. You know, there has been men and women before the age of radio and television, they would memorize whole books of the Bible. Lester Roloff's girls, honeybees, I think it was, they could quote chapters and books of the Bible where they had no television, they had no video game, they had no radio, they had God, they had prayer, they had fellowship, they had God. You know why we can't do that in this, because we're in a Laodicean church, and we're rich, we're wonderful, we're great. Guys, I know you're miserable, naked, poor, and rotten. That Jehoiakim, king, king of Judah, burned in the fire, and there were there were, there were, Jeremiah 36, 32, added besides unto them many like words. God used another role and added himself more to the originals. Jeremiah 36, 32 is the addition to the role that was not in the role that burned with fire. To, you know, thou shalt not add or subtract to, to the word of God. God did. And we read more in Jeremiah 36 of that role that was burned. We read more words that were added by God. What are you going to do with that one? What's the synonaries? Synonary. That's what I say. Synonaries. Not seminaries. Synonary. Man goes in with the King James, comes out as a loser. Synonary. 
What did they do with that verse? The originals were destroyed. But that did not stop God. Oh, Moses. Oh, oh. That's the only copy I had. No. Man's words are not so easy to be reestablished, but God's words. You know how often, you know how often that the King, that, that the King James Geneva Bible and the family of the King James Bible, do you know how often the Catholic Church burned our Bible in the Dark Ages? And it's the history of, listen, Bar, uh, not Baru, uh, what's his name here? Jehoiakim. Jeho Jehoiakim burning the Bible is nothing new under the sun. The Catholic Church took the Bible and burned it and confiscated it. And yet here in 2020, I have a copy. You know what I hold in my hands? I hold the word of God that Moses never had. Moses did not have what I hold. Jesus Christ living and breathing the 33 and a half years on this earth as God and as man. He didn't have the complete Bible I hold today. He couldn't. He was living the Gospels. Paul wasn't saved yet. I hold more scripture than what Paul had. All Paul had was the Old Testament. And in 2020, we have the exact copy of the complete English Bible that God wants us to have. I can buy it in a bookstore. I can get it online. I can read it online. I can get it on a cassette tape. I can get it on a CD. And we are in a period of Laodicea and church age where the Bible is less read, has been more imitated and added and subtracted. Coming by the Philadelphia church that took this Bible and published it worldwide. The Geneva Bible, the grandfather of, of the King James Bible, came over on the Mayflower and established what would be America. And then America blew it by the American Standard Version of the Bible. England blew it with the King James when they did. I think it was the revised. I'm not completely sure about it. But they blew it by having another version. But that's not going to stop me from, ha from having the very word of God, the King James Bible, and to my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, if the Lord tarries, my great-great-great-grandchildren. Oh, wait a minute. Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away. All right, there's all the Bibles in the world have been passed away with all the earth and mother earth and everything. No, 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 no. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall not ever uh, pass away. I believe there's going to be a King James Bible, a Geneva Bible, the, the family roots of our, I believe they're going to be in heaven. In New Jerusalem. I believe the King James Bible is going to be a new drill. You know what I also believe? Hey, don't take me on this one. This is my own personal belief. I believe God's going to give me my Bible. I've got two of them, three of them. I think I'm going to, I think, and this is me, you throw it in the garbage can. I think I'm going to walk heaven with my own Bible. I think there's a test. Why would God say, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be trained, but rightly divine the world? Why would he tell you to be studied? What do you do for a test? You're studying. You're not going to find the ASV. You're not going to find the NIV. You're not going to find the new King James. You're not going to find those Bibles in, in heaven. You're going to find the King James Bible and the Geneva Bible. And you're going to find Jeremiah 36, not the original, but you're going to find a copy with added words. You're going to find the Ten Commandments, not the broken pieces that have been glued together. 
But you're going to find that very second set that was put in here. You, you know what? You know what John the John the Baptist. You know what the apostle John said when he when he went to heaven. He said, "I saw the Ark of the Covenant." You know what they say that was in the Ark of the Covenant? The second copy of Moses' Ten Commandments, not the originals. Let's read on. Jeremiah fifty one sixteen. So Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that should come upon Babylon. Even all these words that are written against Babylon. All these words. The words which we are reading right now. Now, I don't have the original scroll that, that Jeremiah had. But I have what Jeremiah wrote. You believe word, yes. And where the King James translators put it in italics, to be honest, we couldn't find, you know, an English word. We'll put it in italics. I believe the italics words of the King James Bible are also inspired. I believe the chapter and the verse numbers are inspired. Boy, I'm a phony baloney that loves and believes God and not scholarship. Jeremiah 51, 63 to 64. And it shall be, when thou hast made an end of reading this book, Jeremiah, that thou shalt bind a stone to it and cast it in the midst of the Euphrates. What? And thou shalt say, thus shall Babylon sink and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her. And they shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. What happened to the original words of Jeremiah? They're in the bottom of a river sunken. If you could get the, the originals that Jeremiah wrote, it would be, they'd be dissolved. And yet we are reading the words that Jeremiah tossed into the river, Euphrates. The originals are in the muck of the Euphrates River. As any scholar, teacher, pastor, they are in the muck. In the originals. You're in the muck. The word of God is the originals. The originals. Broken beneath Mount Sinai. Ashes on the hearth and now scattered in the dump. In the mud of the Euphrates River. And in your lap being read and studied right now. I got original. Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> I, got a, I was going to say I have original Stiley Hayward King James, but this is like my fifth or sixth. I have. And when you open up the King James Bible, The Holy Bible contained the Old and New Testament translated out of the original tongues, the original tongues, Hebrew, Greek, with the former translation dil diligently compared and revised. The King James translators did not have the original. God need not to preserve the original manuscripts. God said he would preserve his words, not the manuscripts. Glory to God. I hold the King James 1611 authorized version of the English Bible of God. I don't hold the originals. I've got more than what the originals held. According to Jeremiah, my originals are not stuck in the bottom of the muck of the Euphrates River. They're right here. My Bible is not broken and scattered beneath Mount Sinai, the law. 
It's right here with me, Daytona Beach, Florida. You got somebody, uh, oh, the original originals. It's time to leave them. It's time to say goodbye. And don't even ask them to, you know, you know show me. They're, you can't. They won't. And they'll say we're done. Because there is no originals today. <laughs>